Welcome to Zoom, your new classroom for the 2020-21 school year. We know it looks a little bit differently than what you're used to, um, but we're making the most of the situation. And so since this is such a different environment, we wanted to kind of give you a little tour of what things are going to look like and how to navigate this new classroom setting. So here you see that in this specific class, there are seven participants. The fewer participants there are, the larger the squares end up being on the screen, so you can see people a little bit better. Obviously, though, as we get more participants, uh, the squares are going to be smaller. And so I believe each, uh, each Zoom meeting can hold up to 25 people on a screen, possibly 24. Um, and so when that happens, if we have more than 25 people, then you end up having a second screen. And so when that occurs, then you would have arrows that are either here or here that would help you to be able to get to the second screen to see the other participants in the class. And so we don't have these here again because we only have the seven participants. And we know that many of your classes may end up being over 25. And so that's a possibility. Um, when the person is speaking, as you see that I'm doing right now, then the box is illuminated. And so then the nice part about that is if you happen to be on the second screen on someone's screen, never on your own, you'll always be on that first screen. But if you happen to be the second one on someone else's screen, the moment that you start talking, the moment you start contributing to a class discussion um, or answering a question, then you're going to hop on to their first screen and then you're going to see that your box is illuminated just like how you see with mine and so now you'll notice that there are all of these red microphones that have slashes around them okay but you don't see that on mine and that's because i've unmuted myself and so a lot of your teachers are going to ask that you are muted or they're going to mute you for you and so and sometimes it's because having too many um, participants with open mics causes noise or interference. And so during direct instruction, your teachers may ask that you're muted. However, during class discussions, they're going to ask that you participate. And so then you want to be able to know how to unmute yourself or they'll mute you for you. Okay. But here down on the bottom left corner is where you can see the little microphone. And so there's no line through it, like how you see my start video has a line because I'm not showing my image right now. And we'll get to the image that you currently see. But as far as my microphone, my microphone um, is unmuted so then I can contribute to the conversation. If I wanted to mute myself so no one would hear me at the time or to cancel out noise interference, all I have to do is click it. And you'll notice when I do so, then I'm going to have a red microphone in the bottom left corner of my square with a line through it as well. See? And so all I had to do was click again in order to unmute myself. Again, the same thing with the video. If you aren't showing yourself, but then you're going to, then you click on that and that enables you to be able to be visible to the group. You can also unmute yourself here. And so in the top right corner of everyone's square, they have this capability. So again, if I click on this, it's going to mute me. And then unclicking it enables me to be able to contribute. Now, since we're here, let's go ahead and talk about these three dots that we have just to the side of this. Now, um, these may be standard um, options. And so there may be some that I can see because I'm the host. And so, but here I can mute or unmute my video. I can start or unstart my video. Here I can rename the name that you actually see here on the screen, but your teachers are probably going to ask that you stay professional and use the name that you go by, and that's appropriate. Here is where you could go ahead and edit a profile picture. Now, your teachers may ask that you upload a picture here because then if you stop your video, we can still see who you are, especially as we're beginning the school year. It's beneficial for us and for your classmates to be able to see you. And so for those of us who don't know you, we're trying to get to know you. And so that's nice to be able to have that there. Um, I'd love to see your face live, but again, if it's not possible, then we wanna have an appropriate profile picture uh, that would represent who you are. And so if I were to go onto anybody else's screen, 
It shows here that I can unmute and mute someone, but I believe I may only have that option because I'm the host. And then here I have some of those same options, but again, those are only for host features. Okay, so you don't have to worry about that. The one thing that you would maybe want to do is chat with this person directly. And so if I wanted to just send Scott a message, then I could click on that and it'll show me right here that I'm sending it directly to Scott and it's going to be privately done. And so now some of your teachers may disable that feature because they don't want that type of communication going on when you're supposed to be paying attention. And so um, now you may think it's private, and so, but please keep in mind that the hosts of the meetings, which are generally your teachers, are still probably going to have access to those. And so that's probably not something you would want to do anyway, especially if it's going to get you in trouble. So since we're talking about chat, let's talk about some of these features that are down here on the bottom. And so here, again, because I'm the host, I have a few extra buttons that you're not going to have. All the ones that you have to be cautious of are the chat feature, and again, this is where I can go ahead and click on it and I can send something to everyone in the meeting. And so maybe this is when you have a question that you want to present, but you don't want to interrupt anybody who may be speaking. Type your question in the chat. Okay. And then, so it may be, what page are we on? If you're reading something together as a class, type that in and then it goes to everybody. And then if the teacher doesn't see that question, but someone else can answer it right away, then they can go ahead and send a message to everyone again that responds to it. And so you can see up here, it appears as though I put in a link that I was interested in you seeing. And so then once I did that, it's I can go ahead and copy and paste a link that maybe I'm interested in you opening during instruction. Maybe it go is going to take you to something that we're going to read, something for you to complete, to review, whatever it may be. And so then if we click on that, you'll see that it's going to take you directly to the document that the teacher is wanting you to view. But the sad part is now where did my class go? And so I'm looking at the document, but my Zoom meeting seems to have disappeared. And so if we come down here to the bottom of the screen, I see the Zoom icon. I click on that and now I'm back where, where we should be. And so then and I can just minimize this part in the chat. Now, the problem is, is based on what I've learned in Chromebooks, you can't just click on a link that a teacher may post. If this is accurate, then all you would have to do is copy and paste it into your browser and you can still ac access the document that they want you to see. And so, other features down here that you may see on your screen would be share screen. And this is where the teacher, if they give you the capability, will ask you to share your screen, quite possibly during a presentation. Or maybe they want to see an example of the work that you've been completing. And so if you click on that, then it enables you to go ahead and select the screen that you want shared. And so in this specific case, it may be that I wanted to share this one. And now you can see that the grid has come over all the way on the side. And so then on your screen, it looks a little bit differently. And so because you would be able to minimize or maximize how much of the shared screen that you see and the grid for your class. Sadly, I can't show you that specific feature right now because of the fact that I'm the host and it doesn't enable me to do so but we can talk about that later on. So now I'm going to stop sharing my screen. The other icon that you may have at the bottom of your screen is here for reactions. Now again, going back to those Chromebooks, they may not have this feature. And so, but if you're not on a Chromebook, then what you can do is let's say that you're happy for what somebody just contributed to, to the discussion. And so you wanna clap for them. So you, you hit that reaction, or maybe you wanna give them a thumbs up. And so then whatever your reaction may be shows up in the screen and it's identified that it's from you. And so then the, your classmates can see that specifically to the person that, that you wanted to uh, commend. And so that's another thing the chat can be used for is if you wanna go ahead and commend your classmates. Everybody likes that. Everybody likes hearing that they've done a great job. And so that, ah, let me see. Here is where we can go ahead and identify the type of view that we want with our group. 
And so here, let's say that you want to focus on whoever is speaking a little bit more, and maybe you get distracted by too many people on the screen. So if I click on speaker view, now this gives me whoever is speaking in the larger part of my screen. I still see the rest of my class up here, and for some of you, it may be that it kind of comes over on the, the right-hand side. And so, and then I can go to the other participants that are in there as well. That's that little arrow that I was talking about earlier. And so, and then it allows me to focus on them too. If I'm okay with my gallery view, then I click on the grid again and it takes me back to the original um, view that I saw when the meeting began. And so we look forward to this year with you, even though it's being done at a distance. And so, but we hope that this helps you navigate your new classroom a little bit better.